Rumi might be the main reason why tourists flock to Konya, but he certainly isn't the city's only treasure. From the 12th to the 13th centuries, it was the capital of the Anatolian Seljuk dynasty, and these masters of stone and clay have left their artistic imprints all over. One of them is Karatay Madrasa. It was built around 1251 as a school of higher learning, focusing mainly on Islamic studies. Now it's a ceramic museum. It is elegantly decorated with ceramic mosaics, with the color turquoise an ongoing theme. And while some of it may be decomposed, the centerpiece of the whole madrasa is still, without a doubt, the dome. The distinctive Selchukid style features a magnificent craftsmanship, bringing together geometrical patterns, plant motifs, as well as calligraphy as it can be seen in Inja Minaret portal. This brings us to our second stop, Inja Minaret Madrasa, now also a museum. Its masterpiece is the grand entrance, embossed with calligraphy and providing the best example of Seljuk craftsmanship. The artifacts inside were excavated from the fortress of Konya. The variety of stone inscriptions, reliefs and tombstones offer an up-close glimpse into the Seljuk world. With animals, dragons and angels symbolizing love, power and peace. As for Seljuk architecture, it seems there's a common yet dazzling streak. The Seljuk era came with its own design. Guests would have been greeted by an indoor fountain gushing with water under a skylit dome, surrounded by halls with mosaic turquoise tiles. The style might be distinctive, but one that stood the test of time. The final stop on our tour is the Saibata Museum, originally built as a grand complex that included a mosque, school, and a Sufi convent. It now boasts artifacts ranging from carpets and beads to handwritten manuscripts of the Quran. And the color theme was not only exclusive to Konya. Turquoise is the dominant color of the tiles used almost in all Selçukid edifices, in centers like Kayseri, Sivas, Erzurum, Kırşehir, Akşehir. The Anatolian Seljuk period was one of patronage. Architects were commissioned to design these places as centers for learning, a purpose that now remains in the shadows of their artistic brilliance. Shiraz Ali, TRT World, Konya.